it's time. Let's get straight into it. More Mecha Bells. I'm always starting an hour late uh, to my usual. A couple months ago. Oh, you want me to, you want me to call them out for you, Sol? You raffle them uh, in, in the chat right here? Or are they are they in chat in Discord? Yeah. Just before we get started, I want to say, so Salty Soul just did another raffle of a free copy of Mecha Bellum. Congratulations to the winner, uh, Ijipop, I-J-I-P-O-P, um, who should be in the Discord. I don't know if you're here in chat right now, Ijipop, but thank you very much. So Salty Salt, congratulations to Ijipop, and Salt will be raffling out another one. That's, that's you, Soda, is it? Three out of five, so two copies left, people. Yeah, that's your eighth copy, I think, of Mecha Bell, and you've raffled other people in the last couple of weeks, right? You're going hard. Thank you very much, Sir Salty Salt. I really appreciate all the big raffles. Thank you very much. Being so kind, everyone. I really appreciate it. Salt's giving out a lot of copies of this game. So I don't know if Iggy's here, but um, yeah, make sure to check him out in Discord then, Salt. Thank you very much. Beautiful. I was just saying, um... A few months ago, I was showing up really late. Well, I started showing up really late just because, I think. Um, because I was tired all the time. I still am kind of tired, but these days, I'm actually waking up really early. Like, a couple of months ago, I just started waking up at like 7 or 8 a uh, p.m. 8 a.m., I mean, sorry. 7 or 8 a.m. Whereas I used to wake up at like 9, 30, 10 all the time. Um, and I'm using that extra time now to do these YouTube videos every morning. So I've got another one rendering every day. I've got another YouTube video rendering. More today. People have been uh, pointing out, you know, correctly on my last one. People are giving me a lot of shit, man. Like, I want to show my losses on YouTube as well so people can learn from them. And just in general to be, like, genuine. But, like, people give me so much shit <laughs> on, like, that last one where I did legitimately fuck up a lot. <laughs> like, the Vulcans are kind of the point of the video. Dumb Beagle. But you know what? I was like, fuck it. I gotta log on this point. I gotta win some rounds. I gotta look good because they're giving me so much shit in the comments. So, the ones I'm putting out this morning, I think, are I play a bit better. Maybe I can play a bit better here on the stream, too. Because yesterday I lost a lot in the first half, at the very least. Um, got some new ideas for today. Giant specialists. Look at comps. Balls and fangs, Rhino of Arclight Stormcaller, cute, cute, cute. Balls, fangs, giant specialist, I kind of like this though. Ooh, fangs and phoenixes, also good. But let's go, balls and fangs. Sammy says, I'm loving the snappy editing and brain dead plays. Keep it up was my favorite comment, yep. <laughs> well, the matches I'm rendering right now are pretty, pretty freaking good, honestly. I, they were pretty good rounds. I was pretty happy to get two of them at once. Uh, Tuxi here, Tushy. Tushy has marks for reinforcement. Stephen Tushy here. Stanley Tushy. Um, we have the marksmen, crawlers, and bowlers. I have balls and fangs. Very similar, except the crawlers do beat the fangs. Remind me to do the column sledges trick later on that I got taught on YouTube in the comments today too, which is really cool. Um, what doff we want? Arc lights for for a million for sure. Arc lights. Ten ten billion into arc lights. I still don't know how to make these myself. I don't think I can. I think someone was saying they're like the developers. These recommended formations. Most strange. Let's have the fangs in place. Both to cover potential flanks, but also just to make sure that like... They can't marksman down my towers too easy. Probably like put them to the sides so that they don't get like stormcaller baited on them either. Okay, that's good. Let's do it. So they just went for more swarms. We'll be happy to go arc lights here, of course. Though I won't have any arc lights for the middle. So I think what usually happens here when I do this with my arc lights, especially on the flanks like this, is that typically my my middle gets broken through by the mass of crawlers. Luckily, there's only one unit of crawlers here, so it won't be too bad. But yeah, like. It'll actually just delay my balls for a bit. What if you, depl what if you deployed your whole army more forces, Brenshaw? I like to deploy really far back. I don't know. I just like it. I just think it's neat. It's comfy. It gives me a lot of room to forward deploy stuff later. I don't know. I like it. So the arc lights are obviously fantastic here against the crawler swarms. Not in the middle where they're, we're a bit busy. 
And that's really the problem, is the balls are too busy with their crawlers in the middle to fight the enemy balls effectively. So I think I will lose the overall matchups. I mean, I know I will. Unfortunate. And the level 3 marksman turns things as well. It's not the bad of the loss that I could have, but it is a loss to Stanley Tushi here. Units equipped with this item produce electromagnetic interference. What unit could like make really fun use of this? I don't know. Well, I'm giants, giants, giant specialist giants. I'm gonna go for improved overload. I never go for this. I'm gonna go for the extra range. Looks pretty good. The three level three marks from Harris sneak man. It does definitely. Um, one thing I'm trying to do today that I used to affect in my YouTube videos is I'm trying not to go for, um, giants so early. Because I think one of the reasons I was going to the debt lot yesterday too, I'm just like trying to not like get giants in the first four or five rounds when it's like economically just too painful to try and get that done. Um, I think more arc lights from my fronty liney. Or I could just do my own crawler's back. My own crawler's back might be the smarter option. If I could get three units here, though, yeah, maybe go like, did I go flying specialist? No. Do like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our own arc light in the center to help with that, and then our own crawlers to tie up the enemy as well. This should be nice. Let's go a little bit far for four to tie up the marksman. Oh, didn't get up quite done on there. So they went for storm callers. Okay, which my line's pretty spread out for them. But they will do some hurt to me as I get tied up here. Well, they're still in the fangs, which is really good. The storms are still busy with the fangs for a bit there. Now my balls aren't engaging with the crawlers. They're still like stuck in the middle is the problem. The problem is my balls are getting stuck on those crawlers in the middle for too long I think. Still. Seems to be what's happening. Maybe I can get like one overload of the free giant specialist unlock here. Because otherwise I'll just be going more arc lights. Maybe both. Like maybe I'll have enough money to get an overlord and arc lights. No, I have over expensive overlords with that upgrade. So actually no, it's just like more arc lights this turn. Because I really do feel like it's just the swarms that are ruining me. Uh, maybe sledges actually. Sledges add to my front line and kill the crowds and are good against other things too. Speed specialist I think is also pretty good here for. Hopefully I don't get over more bomber, but I'm pretty wide. Speed specialist is probably good as well for like getting in against the storm callers and marksmen better later. Yeah, I reckon some sledgies. We like some sledgies. Sledgies are fun. Sledgies are good. Definitely name in the middle, remember? In the middle is where the problem really lies. Um, now I'm going to use this new trick that I've learned from the tubes. This ripple firing trick. I'll explain it in a second after I've placed flank. I probably should be doing more flanks, shouldn't I? But I'm not. General question says, uh, Baldy, why not some sentries just to waste a couple of their swarms? Well, I just want to save the money for other stuff that's more permanent but yeah like it could be good to tie me an edge here because I keep losing not tie me an edge give me an edge here y'all know what I mean I want to be careful not to get the marksman straight onto the sledges here that would be bad let's go like that and then I think like this We'll do one just to try and... Ooh, if I can get it onto like... Yeah, if I get it onto the level 3 marksman, it's so good. Yeah. So the idea of the column sledges, and someone this morning named, I think it was Yakamura, on my comments on my latest video told me this. You can trick the sledges into doing ripple fire. Um, oh, nice photon. 
might save the marksman by putting them in column because then rather than all of them wasting their all of their shots on the same crawler at once they will ripple fire so that they'll shoot through the swarm more effectively because they're firing one after the other instead so the idea is it helps them deal with crawlers better i've tested it and it, indeed it allows sledges to beat three units of crawlers at once where normally they wouldn't be able to it's pretty clever and i gotta give shout out to i believe it was yakamura is the name of them on the YouTube comments for telling me this because it's a pretty cool trick and I love to see reasons to use column formation because people are always asking me like hey why would you ever use this pretty smart way to think about it like to use it to get around the AI like that to make them do what you want to do now we're doing much 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 better with the sledges here helps that we blow up one of the storm callers I think too obviously with the, the missile call in but we are doing much 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 better with the sledges in general I would say that you can see, because I still lost on this side where the Stormcrawlers weren't dead, that I still wouldn't have won without the missiles. Ricochet says, doesn't that expose them to more risk of being taken out one at a time? It depends what they're fighting. Like, against Marksmen? Maybe, yeah. Oh god. Um, but Crawlers are going to run to them, so the difference in firing time is negligible. So it depends what you're fighting. Ball of Sunshine says, Column Crawlers behind the towers causes them to fan out like a shotgun blast. Really? That's a really interesting idea because that means it would make you less prone to being AoE'd. I like that. I should think about that too. Jody Ado says, Columns are risky versus Storm Crawlers because if the Storm Crawler targets the front unit of a group, the rocket has to hit the ones behind if the unit is fast enough to get hit on the front. Yeah, and against Storm Crawlers, I think is where Columns will definitely punish the hardest. Um, I almost want to just go like, skip on this. Maybe Giant Hunter for later. That's quite expensive. Just go skip for now. Your opponent's using Column Crawlers here. I see. I see, I see. Get our upgrades wherever we can. It's always important to stay up to date on our upgrades. Maybe I should do my own Column Crawlers. Though, I feel like that just gets the Stormcrawlers killing everything I have too easily. I'm going to put some shields down because I feel like I'm about to get, like, acided a lot. More crawls against them in general, like there's nothing wrong with. Though I'm a bit low on single target, honestly. Aren't I? Yeah, I'm a bit low on single target, so rather than spamming more crawlers, I'm gonna go for some marksman here, because I think that's actually something I'm quite noticeably low on, I'm, I'm realizing. And did they double shield? They don't shield at all. So this would have been better, but I figured they'd shield that because I missed them last time. Guess not. I still get a bunch on the right side, but now it's the left of the level 3 marksman still intact. But they buy a couple of marksmen, which aren't going to help me too much against what they're going. They're going like very, very much the same thing. But I did just level up a lot of units too, which should help me a lot of getting through shit here. They got one unit of the storms that's quite high level. The other one was quite high level too, actually. I just bought more. Because I'm beating their front line, I wonder if Mustangs here with Missile Deception would be great. Because it just needs to buy me a little bit of time to win the front line fight, which I'm already doing. And nullify that big investment in the Stormcrawlers. Like, it doesn't have to t put permanently stop them. But I am still winning, and as I say, be careful. You know, when you're ahead, get more ahead. So I think instead, Overlords here might be the way instead, now that I can afford it, hopefully. Unless I have a lot of level ups. Um, they have a lot of Crawlers. A Vulcan, a Parasitic could really leverage some cool shit here, because they are weak to crawlers in general. So I think Parasitic Vulcan is a bit gross here, and I like the idea of it. It means no overlords, but I think when you can get a Parasitic Vulcan... Parasitic Overlord is the place, is Tamajo. You reckon? I feel like it's just always best on a Vulcan, in my experience so far. Elite Vulcan? No, I need the money. I'm going to try to spend my money money here. As usefully as I can. Uh, onto these uh, bowls, I think. Uh. Bandit says, isn't this exactly how you lost the first match from yesterday's YouTube video? Kind of, it's close. But in this case, I did get some single target, and I'm about to get some more as well. 
I'm gonna get another one. But yeah, it, it is often a thing where I go like, ooh, Parasitic Vulcan, let's do it. But in this case, I think we're alright. Are your alerts off? Uh, they shouldn't be. Why? What, what just got missed? Have you stepped back too so you don't get aggroed on by the marksman, please? And do another missile, because you just keep not stopping it, so... Stop with gives it the sub. Oh, and Bradford didn't say anything? Bradford! Bad boy. Okay, there's the shield. Should've done the right again. They have damage absorption on the balls and armor enhancement. I mean, Mustangs wouldn't have been very good against them, so not feeling too bad about that. One of the marksmen goes down, but they do shield the elite one. Uh, don't leave the shield, Vulcan buddy! Okay, now we're going to parasitic their crawlers into my crawlers. Level 3 marksman on my Vulcan is not what we wanted here at all. Save him! Yeah, nice. Not doing so hot on the right. We are not. We are not. Oh, but my balls are coming over from the middle line. It's not just left and right flanks. There's a center line too here of mine. I don't think they'll stop my tower from going down, but I think I will get theirs first, which will turn the tide. Interesting fight there, where I, uh, I'm often focused on like left and right flanks. Here I have a left, right, and center, and the center won, and then broke into the right to get their tower from behind, which is a really interesting maneuver they did. Unfortunately, I do still get um, towered here. You put something in front of the Vulcan's assembly? Yeah, I believe so. Probably like a cheap fang unit or something, and then I'm going to try to bring in my overlords. I didn't go into debt, which is important. We don't want to be going into debt so much like I did yesterday. I'm trying to be a bit more chill today. I think my constant deading yesterday really was getting me into so much trouble after I'd learned to not do it so much in previous uh, weeks. I kind of slipped back into it a bit too much. Take that, Stanley Tushy. Aerial Specialist! Ooh, top supply. It's round six. Top supply is really good, but I think at this point... Going for the death blow... Not going for the death blow like debt and nukes, but just like... Pushing their shit in further is the way, especially going the Overlords now while they only have Marksmen, unless they, you know, read this really well and go, Oh shit, I need Mustangs or something. Unless they do that right now, like, and I put a Vulcan in so it's a bit less likely. You know, th this is the turn to be like, uh-oh, look out, here we go. Should I go Elite? No, that's 700, I can't afford that. But I can go to level, I can go to level 1. I can go 1. It takes three turns just to turn a slight economic profit with it. What? You pay 150 and you get... No, you pay 200 and you get 150 back, right? Or is it 300, maybe? Um, Maybe one level two overlord. Or two level ones. Probably two level ones, actually. What else would I buy? I want those things. I want... Uh, let's get two of them. Fuck it. I don't need to debt here because I am in the lead already. So don't, like, double down on a, on a good thing unnecessarily here. Though, I don't have any shields. I, sh I, I am going to do it here because I need to get shields. Again. I really need shields. So need to go like this. I need to go like this. And I think with the last money, maybe just get... Field maintenance heals on them. You got to keep them right back so they don't get... Um, watch out for a potential nuke, I guess. Fuck. Gonna keep them right back so they don't get, um... Huh? Yo, can you guys hear me? Did I just lose connection? Hello? Yeah, you can hear me? Okay, good. It's them. Stanley Tushy disconnected. I'm stuck with this damn overlord in my hand now. Gachi says no sound. You fucking liar. Um... Yeah, I don't think this was like a core stump or anything. Poor poor person probably actually DC'd here. Does that mean no payout? No, I mean, I, I, I still win. It's still a win by default. The two greatest words in the English language. Default, default, default. What do they have? Just more balls by the look of it, yeah? No, they already had those. What do they even buy? I was feeling pretty confident there. Do we see what they bought there? They just got like a lot of balls. Crawls, marks. I don't think I don't think we actually get to see their next deployment phase. But I was feeling pretty confident there anyway. I was already winning, and then the, the overlords I think we're gonna like tip it even further in my favor. 
Because they're just they're just all ground. Everything they have is ground except for these four marksmen. And then all you have to do is just win the frontline fight as we continue to do. And then you got 140 range upgraded uh, overlords just smashing them. I think we were pretty good there for the win. Anyway, GG. Better round to start with. Let's do another one. Hey, Salto! So Salty Salt, the generous gifts, uh, gifter of Mechabellum themselves, back for another round. I think we've fought once before, haven't we, Salt? Let's go. Cost control, ooh, that is nice. Cost control, arc lights, and sledges. And then bring in... What do they got? Aerial specialists. So definitely bring in fangs, I think. Um, I should just keep starting with this for the free, like, setup. Hey Beagle, what do I even do versus Photon Coding Rhinos' magic spell? Well, it depends. What are the Photon Coding Rhinos... Coding Rhinos? What are the Photon Coding Rhinos doing to you? For a star, what's what's there? What's the issue? What's uh, what's getting you down with them? Like in actuality, are they tanking? Are they damage carrying? What are they doing? Playing on laptops, so I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I can't stand playing games on laptops. Not stuff I'm tryharding for sure. I can't use trackballs to save my life. They just run over me and don't give a fuck, says magic. Okay, so like your enemies are like building tons of them. Um, if you deploy further back, I'm not gonna use the rest of my money, I think. If you deploy further back, you may find that like. their photon runs out before they can get to you. Uh, but in general, just, like, more single-target damage, I think. Um, overloads of chin guns are a really hard counter on the rhinos, because your rhinos can't hit them, and they have really good single-target damage on them. Uh, but that's later on. But if your enemy has a lot of photon-coding rhinos, uh, you know, might be pretty later on in the match by the sound of it. A couple of the balls get on the sledges in the middle, which we don't want. My fangs didn't fight with my sledges here. The formation, pretty wide formation of salt spreads out pretty wide on me and wins. Because I needed my fangs and I need my fangs to tank the balls better for the sledges. I also just don't have any single target damage to kill the balls, which is actually the real problem there. Like, my frontline did fine, but I don't have the single target to take out the balls. So it's definitely a marksman or something similar time now. Cost control, that's right. Deployment specialist, we always love to see this. And you got to assume that um, Salt will take it as well. I think there's only one real choice. Let's do this. Got to kill those balls. Just try not to get all, all get missiled at once. Which we should be alright for right like this. Bangs and steel balls. I am... They have 5,000. You went your defense enhancement? I think I need to go... I think I need to go attack enhancement. To keep up. Still won't get me through you though. Let's see what happens this round. So Salt, I'm seeing a couple of marksmen for them too. Notably, not the four marksmen I bought, only two. No, three, three, never mind. I think they got the deployment specialist too.
I still could use some more fangs in the center, I think. But I have a lot of marksmen to clean up their balls this time. So you can see how, like, my shit just works way better now because I have a lot of anti-crowd of the sledges and arc lights. And even without enough infantry chaff screen in the middle, my extra marksman advantage is just going to clean through way better now. Are you an aerial specialist? Yeah. Ooh, 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 girl. It's business time. It's business time. It's business time. Yes. Let's get some of this in the middle. I want to put it like a little bit further forward so we don't get like missiled onto the arc light, hopefully. But my formation is still a bit tight, so it might still happen. And then more single target in the form of these Phoenixes. I'm going to put them in the centaur. So that they're angled to fight these balls. And I think I'm still just going to save money other than that. Obsidian says, why Phoenix? Um, because Phoenix here gives me what I need more of, which is uh, more single target. You can see um, Salty going for the musket line like we tried to do to President Van Buren yesterday. I mean the name, not the strat. I don't know, it's just fun to say. Phoenix, try it sometime, it's fun. Wait a back who won. I won, Sammy. The last one. Oh, that's a lot of marksmen. It's a real snipe off here. FY Ice World, everyone has orbs. But I have just enough. Without the Phoenixes, I would have lost that, I think. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'll pick this up for later. I think, especially against the number of mark range uh, marksmen they have, like range. On my marksman is really important here. Even if it like stops me from buying as much other shit this turn. Which is probably really important in general. Squad marksman, heavy marksman strap. Oh, we got a few of them there. Salt says, I wonder if chat can figure out my strategy. I wonder indeed. I think you learned it from your favorite streamer yesterday, right, Salt? Right? <laughs> but I am no President Martin Van Buren. I am not a US president. I am not weak to marksmen historically. And even before the backline of uh, Fangs getting out, I think just the extra range of my Phoenixes is hella here. Hella. I like Phoenixes a lot lately, I really like them. Don't do Parasitic Ammo here. I've got a pretty beefy frontline already. Let's like, just do this. I want to time this so that, like, the balls end up in it, which I don't know if I can do, but I can certainly try. Let's get 
some upgrades going. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Every time I say something like that, I don't have it on my soundboard, it's a crime. Cost control. I have Subsy Storm Callers, which could be kind of okay. I don't think it's really what I need here, though. I think just like more ranged Phoenixes. At least one more unit of them. And then, like, maybe two units of crawlers. And just place the crawlers on the sides, and it'll waste a lot of their time dealing with them, right? Don't, oh, don't. Don't pull them out of place, though. Fuck. Just do it like that, then. Okay, so here comes the... Go, hurry up! Yeah, okay, it's gonna miss a few of them, though. That beam moves pretty slow. Crawl is going to tie up all these units for a while. I get the balls. I get two of the balls in my iron beam. They've got some upgrades here that are making them do a lot better against me in the middle. It's fang shields. Fang shields. Fang shields. Fang shields are wrecking me. Fang shields are ruining me. Hugely. My second wave of fangs does come in to try and fight them off, but is it enough? Well, now it's the marksman versus the phoenixes. I think so. I think that second wave of fangs, you might argue that it might have been also just good just bringing it in from the start, but I think the second wave of fangs there either way did manage to save me. Now it's just, can I get their tower? Yes, I can. And turn this around. Not in time to save that phoenix. But I will blow up theirs now and turn it around. So we want to answer those... Um, Nasty shielded fangs. Very nasty. Oh man, I'm still gonna lose. Because they're mechanical rage, too. This is like the, the, the fang turn around here. They're like, suddenly, look out for my fang strap. Oh no. Fangs out, indeed. Electromag Impact. Actually, do it like over here. Yeah, yeah, do it like over here. And whatever else they might buy here. No, I want to do double tap on, on my Marksman. That's like not, that's just contributing more to things that aren't very good against them here. Instead, I probably just do the same back. I probably do portable shield in return to tank more fire from there. Also, lack of crowd control. I don't know if I want to go all the way into Mechanical Rage myself. Because I don't want to go Vulcans here. I don't want to go Stormcallers. I don't want to go, like, that hard in any direction. I think Sledges with EMP. You outrange them, don't you? Yes, because you got Assault Fangs. Yeah. So you outrange them. So what I want to do here, I think, is get Electromagnetic Shot. Portable Shield. Um, and I think more sledges. Sledges. Sledges on column here. The idea being the EMP sledges then, um, take out the tech on the fangs. EMP shot on me. My plan here is to EMP you so that my crawlers wipe you. Let's see if it works. I don't think so, because there's just too many fangs there anyway. Tons and tons of fangs. In the front line. We're still getting swept pretty hard by their fangs. Which you always respect and love to see fangs doing good work against us. We might have to get some Vulcan in, I think. I love to see the imagery go this hard. I mean, I might have to get Napalm Stormcallers, actually. I didn't go into debt yet, so that's good. I still don't think I win here. It's not... Yeah, I still don't win here. Looks like Arkaby Value. I think so, too, yeah. 
sort of marksman against you now. It is. I think they're a bit faster than Napalm Storms. Like, I think actually the Vulcans might be the way to go. And, like, that's it. I, re I reckon keep pushing the range advantage against the enemy here. Yeah, South Avatar does look good in this context, doesn't it? It looks great. I'd agree that armor could definitely have some high value here. At least on the arc lights, definitely. Ranged arc lights would be good too. I could just go from like more arc lights at range. Rather than going something big like a Vulcan. I wonder if that'll do what I need it to do. I think I need to go into debt and get the range on them. Try not to get really like missile spammed here. Many, many marksmans. Lots of fangs. I love the synergy here of like the shooting specialist marksman with the upgraded fangs is really cool. But now let's see if the upgraded arc lights can turn the tide. Looking better already, I think. Those upgraded marksmen though, there's so many of them. Like while I've been busy dealing with the fangs, the marksman line is increasing to a scary degree. I look better overall here now, but those marksmen are very scary. So we gotta start like trying to take them out. This is what I've been saying about marksman spam. When you have enough marksmen, they counter anything including crowds because 20 marksmen will kill fangs. But here, I think those fangs will tank just long enough for the phoenixes to kill them. Nice. Oh god. I need to get shields this turn. If Salt does not get shields this turn, they are in for a hell of a round. Let me tell you that much. Give her the throw. No, nuke. No, I've been learning not to nuke as much lately. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Even more range for the Phoenixes, perhaps. Any of my own shields. Uh, what do they want to buy here? Fuck. I knew and then I forgot. I need to say things out loud more so I don't forget them. What did I really want here? Stormcallers now, I think, was what I wanted. Because it takes out whatever shields they might have. It's just if I can get my own... I need to get my own shields going before I get wrecked with nukes and shit. I'm going to pay a lot of shield tax this turn, which isn't great. So I don't think I can get storms now unless I debt. So I probably don't do that. Probably just get like mm, more phoenixes maybe. Don't debt. Don't debt. Do not debt. Shields, but not where they need to be to defend the mark, uh, the fangs. The range might keep the marksman out of it for now is the problem. Will, like, just get rid of a ton of the fangs instantly for me, which is great. Napalm is the great equalizer against fangs. Napalm is what counters fangs from being the best spam unit in the game. Without napalm, fangs shielded, upgraded, and rage and, and ranged and everything will just destroy, like, any comp, even Vulcans, I find. But, um... With fire, things can happen. I love all the marksman spam. You can see what I was trying to do against Martin Van Buren yesterday, because this just terrifies me when this has happened to me. I hate it. 
when you let the marksman gap get too wide on you, it's so scary. But in this case, I think especially thanks to the incendiary, and that's why I want the storm call, as you can see. Is that it? GG. In this case, doesn't quite work out for him. But you can see how close it is, right? Like You can see how when you get this many marksmen, like, it's scary. When you have this many marksmen, I talk a lot about, um, you know, the, the critical mass required to get through a certain kind of enemy. Usually we talk about it with, like, HP regen with enemies, like, oh, you know, I haven't got the critical mass of damage left to deal with this, um, you know, regening melting point because it keeps killing my phoenixes and with every phoenix destroyed, it, you know, lowers my ability to get through the regen. Marksmen are kind of like that and then it's damage as a shield. And because they have like, such long range, they can do this thing where when there's enough of them, they just kill all of your units before they get into range to fight them back, including swarms. Just because, again, 20 marksmen kills a fang. You know, 18 marksmen kills a fang squad instantly. So that's the thing. Was that our salty? It was. Um, Barley says phoenixes help you catch up because you get four for their two or three. Yeah, that's, that's the thing I'm liking a lot recently as well, is that when you buy phoenixes, you're getting the marksman twins. Okay, so this is marksman. And this is the Marksman Twins. And that's what I really like about Phoenixes. Yeah, is... I like a lot of things about Phoenixes lately. But yeah, you're, you're getting two Marksmen for basically the same price. You're getting 100 cost for one Marksman or two Phoenixes for 200 cost. The big difference there is you can only re recruit so many units around. So early on, you can't afford to keep up that way with Phoenixes. But later on, when you have tons of money, they're only 200 still. You can definitely get a lot of Phoenixes out quickly in parity to someone who's spamming marksmen, and I think you saw how that was essential here. How having the... Definitely the upgrades we got throughout the match too that gave us extra range on phoenixes, and then extra range again with range specialists, kept the phoenixes right at the back of 192 range for the entire match, so that they were always the last thing to go. If they were being killed by the marksmen earlier, it would have been terrible. So my phoenixes get to live as long as Salty's marksmen, get to turn the fight in the middle, and then also get to duel the marksmen right at the end. And I think it was critical, you saw this second line of fangs, um, never did really any damage, but the way they came in at the end, there was always some fangs left over to then tie up the marksmen later. I think these marks, uh, these fangs were actually critical, because if they just died to the fangs and balls and whatever the fuck else early on with the rest of the fangs in the front line, then they're not here at the end of the match for when the marksmen are the only thing left for Salty, and that's when they're most needed. So this was, I think, a good... I think this was, like, a good example of how... A reserve deployment on your units, while not intuitive because not everything's fighting at once, can be really, really important. And I, I think that's so cool this game. This game continues to be the most strategic game I've played in many ways, more than many other so-called strategy games. Because it is, for, for many reasons, but one, one of the cool things you see here is, yeah, like second line, reserve lines, a, attacking in depth, defense in depth. You don't see this a lot in other games. Even Total War, you don't often see, I think reserving a ton, at least not a shit level that I play at, I guess. I guess good players do it more, but you know what I mean? Like, I think Total War is the closest analog, and I like to see it here. How does us rats get the chance to take on the beagle? You just queue against me. I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. That was a good round, though, thank you. I really like my comp, though. I think phoenixes are so good. I love marksmen, but now I'm, like, maturing and being like, what if the marksmen twins? What if flying marksmen twins instead? I really like them for just general battles. Be right back. One second. Let me go to the bathroom. 